Just like to offer a big shout out to Touchdown Digital, the sponsors of this week's video. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another vlog here at Sniper Photography. My name's Glenn Samuel. Recently, I took a trip out to uh, Mount Wilson to photograph uh, the autumn colours of that most magnificent area of the Blue Mountains called Mount Wilson. And it is just a spectacular um, location. Uh, the colours are just amazing. We have the, um, the golden uh, leaves and the red leaves all mixed together on the ground. The trees are flowering in these beautiful colours. And photographically um, speaking, it is just a, a wonder. Um, for any photographer that goes out there, you, you basically like, really you're like a kid in Disneyland. You're just overwhelmed by um, the quality of uh, the landscape there. And someone recently asked me, how do I know when one of my images has worked? Well, basically for me, I believe that the image should um, provoke some emotion in the viewer. The idea is to have your images um, be seen by somebody and you want that person who is viewing your photographs to feel something to feel like they're there. Um, it's all about creating emotion. If I know that one of my images has created emotion by comments or what people think of them, that means the photograph has worked. And that's my sole purpose with my photography is to create not only a story, but a, a feeling, a sense of um, well-being and calmness and happiness. Um, in this fast-paced world, it's nice to sit back, whether you can take these images or not, and have a look at them and feel something, feel comfort in those images. So if I can provide comfort and feeling and emotion with my images through people that look at them, well then I'm a very happy photographer. That means that the photography is working and also means that the images have made the people feel something. You've got to make the viewer of your photographs feel like they were there. Make them feel at ease when they look at your images. Now, um, recently, uh, these shots were put up on um, social media, also a website, and I'm also in the process of printing a couple of these. Now, just take a look at this image. Now, you'll notice that the colors are very bright. And a lot of people have commented, what editing program did I use to extract those colors? Well, for me, um, digital manipulation of an image, um, I don't do much of. I believe if you have to um, spend an hour with your photography and then an hour or two hours in the editing room, well, has the image really worked? For me, I do very little editing on my images. Um, I rely on skill and in-camera use to get these images right. Yes, I do use Lightroom um, quite a bit, but only a few of the sliders that I use. I prefer to get everything, everything done in camera. So when you look at this image, what I did there was I used a Nissi circular polarizer and I used a custom white balance. 2500 Kelvin. Now anything below 3000 Kelvin um, warms, has a warm tone. So the idea was, was to use the circular polarizer to enhance the colors and to take the sheen off the wet foliage because it was very foggy that morning that these photos, these images were taken. And with the custom white balance that I set in camera, it enables me to have a warm appearance of the image because everyone's drawn to colour, but when you add warmth to your colour, it makes the image so much better. I believe so. Now, custom white balance is fantastic to use in camera. I know you can use it in Lightroom on the computer, but I'd rather get it right in camera so I know exactly what I've got there and then. And that's why I set custom white balance, especially with photography like this, or any forest or wooded scenes, especially um, in autumn with all these colours. And also, too, it's very important that you learn the, um, the, the colour wheel. You need to 
understand what colours work with one another. And as you can see in these images, as you're seeing here as I'm speaking to you, the reds and the golds and the greens, they all match. So by adding a bit of warmth through a custom white balance of 2500 Kelvin and a circular polarizer, the work is done in the camera. The work's done on site. All I had to do in Lightroom was a slight correction of lens aberration and a bit of um, vignetting, and that was it. That's all I did. And I'm very happy with the results. So I'll continue with these images. I hope you enjoy them. Any questions that you want to know about this type of photography, please put them down in the box below, and I'd certainly get back to you very, very shortly. Please enjoy. I hope these images bring some peace and serenity to you all. So that's it for another episode of Sniper Photography. As I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends. But most of all, you keep shooting, keep smiling. Bye for now.